Want to attend an event just for you with over $500,000 invested in the celebration? Well, you can, because staff, volunteers, sponsors, and the town have been working all year round to bring you the 2008 Oakville Waterfront Festival. The Oakville Waterfront Festival is a three-day family festival that uh, provides an opportunity for Oakville residents and uh, people from outside of Oakville and outside of Ontario for that matter to come enjoy themselves, watch some first-class uh, musical entertainment, engage in um, all sorts of different activities with their, uh, their friends and families. The festival is quickly becoming an event with roots deep in the Oakville community, having begun back in 1992. Uh, when Canada was having its 100th anniversary, there was some funding available to um, create events to celebrate. And there always had been a mayor's picnic, and that mayor's picnic with that extra funding became a festival. And the rest is history. It's 17 years old now. Waterfront is primarily known for its musical performers, having featured such acts as Bedouin Sound Clash, Tom Cochran, Finger Eleven, and Jack Soul. This year is no exception as they set to host Headley on uh, Friday night, which should be energetic, frenetic, and a lot of fun, I'm sure. And on uh, Saturday night, uh, Julie Black, uh, who won the best R&B uh, recording for the uh, Junos this year. Very dynamic entertainment. Um, very danceable, and I'm sure there'll be people dancing in the grass out there. And opening for her is Kellen Porter, uh, former Canadian Idol winner. So the performers will take the stage right here in Coronation Park for the Waterfront Festival. But I'm curious, how are the performers chosen for the festival? Well, number one, availability, uh, and number two, uh, price, and from that subset we try to find something that is going to appeal to uh, the widest possible audience. The last several years we've tried to program Friday night for a, a younger audience and uh, Saturday for a, a more sort of broadly based audience. And the main stage is just the tip of the iceberg, as many more local performers will be featured on the community stage. Here the Flex Court uh, community stage has everything from jazzercise, jazz music, rock music, taekwondo, uh, violins, you name it, uh, and a belly dancer on Sunday. The festival also boasts a craft show, shopping, food, a skateboard show, and amusement park. And if you have kids, bring them along, because this festival is for them too, especially in the children's village. With a backyard circus where they can become a lion or a tiger or a bear, be shot out of a cannon. Uh, YTV's here with their Weird on Wheels tour. Uh, the Science Museum from Sudbury is here doing wacky science. A reptile show. There's all kinds of stuff. The festival expects approximately 100,000 people through the gate this year, but safety is still paramount. Halton Regional Police do a great job for us. They're on site all weekend. And, uh, and really, it's a family piece of entertainment overall. Still not convinced you should attend? Take a look at their website at www.oakvillefestival.com for more information. In Oakville, I'm James Spaulding for The Source.